Hi class, this is Jill Mack, and what I'm going to be going over today is menus, HTML menus. The students know if there's anything that they don't understand, they can just give me a call. Okay, we're doing web development, although this could pertain to um, many different classes that I teach. And so to look at those, we're going to scroll down in our web development and we're going to go down to web students so that I can go out to my server. If you're an online student, to be able to share my server, you need VO. If you're a Springfield student, you need VS. But we're going to be using VO. So when I look at my ST web space for our web development class in my directory. I see all of these directories and I want to go into menu because I want to look at the different types of menus. And we're going to kind of skip around here a little bit. Um, here is an HTML menu that I used for a long, long time. And it works great, except when you are on a phone or a tablet, it's not really reactive. So if you have a very narrow screen, you really can't see the content of the web page. You can kind of scroll back and forth this way, but it's not quite convenient. But this is one of my favorite clean, crisp menus. It's just it's not reactive. So we have to leave that behind. We have a menu that's clean and simple. And this one, it's simple, but it's ugly. And the reason it's ugly is that I am trying to teach you what's going on with the different areas. And so this is the one we're going to look at. OK, let's look at the code for this. And this is the index clean and simple. And here it is. Let's open that notepad. So here is the clean and simple code. And it's pretty straightforward. We have our doc type of HTML, which means we're HTML5. We're the language English. We have a header, which says this is going to be the title of it that's up in the tab. And this is the link to the style sheet. We'll be looking at the style sheet as it kind of links in with all of these tags. So we'll be going back and forth with that. And so I've put it on a tab right here and we'll be going back and forth. Once we get into the body in the header, we have Jill's clean. And so I'm going to bring this over and I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. So here we have Jill Max clean and simple HTML. So I've got a header in there. Um, in the style sheet is where this graphic is. So I'm not going to, it's not going to be in here um, as an image. It's actually in the style sheet as an image. The navigation, however, is all in there for all the way through for navigation. And we break that navigation up into an ahref for index. And, you know, if you want to go back to the index page, you can click it and you're going to go back to the index page once we get it all cleaned up. Um, then we have assignments one through 14 and finally the project. That ends the navigation, and then you go into the article. And the article is another way of saying the body of the website. 
here it's hi I'm and the reason this is in red again is it's in the CSS that I have told the h1 to be red welcome to my Google site and I'm using lorem ipsum so the link is ahref and what's kind of visible is the lorem ipsum and so there's a lot going on in this little ahref notice how lorem ipsum happens to be green but when you roll over it happens to be orange and so all of that happens because in the style sheet I have a style for hypertext references we scroll down and we get to almost to the bottom and we see that there's a second article and this doesn't do anything more than have an h2 and say this is the second article but then we get to the footer and the footer has an ahref for Wikipedia in this instance for Creative Commons and it also has a link to Jill Mac and when you cursor over it you can see that link in the lower left hand corner so all of the HTML is pretty straightforward but now let's get to the style sheet now the style sheet has a style for the body where it has a background image of E D E F kind of thing and that's this color blue so when we look at the background of the body it's this blue color and it tells us the width and what kind of fonts it's going to use and the size of the fonts now up in the header this is where I made it really ugly in the header I have a background image and that's this little graphic right here I've told it not to repeat and to position it left the background color of the header is pink and you can see that it's this ugly pink and that the text alignment has been centered I have a height and a padding and a left margin and right margin okay so let's see what's in the h1 and and how did header get all of it? so that everything is header and how that got called was I just went in and said okay the header is going to call in CSS and it's going to give me a background image and a background repeat and a background position and a background color and you can see we have this beautiful bubblegum pink and the text alignment is going to be centered and it's going to have these basic layouts for height padding margin left and margin right now once I get to the h1 this is the h1 it says the font size is going to be one and a half and the color is going to be red and lo and behold I've got that hi my name is students put in their student name and then they're good to go when we get to h2 we see something how that's set up and then the paragraph the paragraph is set up with a particular font family so while I'm in my paragraph I have a Times New Roman with a line height of one and a half and the margin at the bottom is five pixels now we look at the ahref so when we get to the hypertext references we want it to be underlined and we want the color to be green and, and yes the color is green right there and then I want to be able to hover it and when I hover over it the color is now instead of being green like here the color is now orange so if I've already been to that site or if I want to click on it it's going to turn that orange my navigation has its own kind of thing so we'll go up here to navigation 
And when we look at the code itself, all it is is the nav tag. The nav tag says everything in between the opening nav tag and the ending nav tab are going to look like this. So when we go and we look at the nav in our style sheet, our nav says that we have no margins and no padding and the text is going to be centered and the background is going to be purple. And lo and behold, the background of the navigation is purple. Now, right now, um, several students have a lot of files and we want to kind of organize them. So we've got our hypertext references and then we've got our hover. So if I just go and hover over something instead of scrolling, if I just hover over it, that the text decoration is going to be none, but the color is now going to be orange. That hover is going to be an orange color. And the navigation user unordered links is going to be purple for the background color, and we see that. And then our navigation is going to be this size with more, but if I hover over that navigation, the background image is going to be this color. So all of these different obnoxious kind of colors are so that it's easy to find where they are. You can either put in this um, hex code or you can put in a color. I don't see it off the top of my head. So I want you to kind of play with that. Play with the menu. Um, when you go into the menu, all of these link to a particular subdirectory. But you can change it however you'd like. But I want to see how, how well you do with that first, that first navigation that I've kind of explained. And if you have any questions, give me a call. Until our next video, have fun, and remember, take a nice, deep, cleansing breath.